Hello, hello, and hi, everybody. Welcome back, dreamers, OGs, and new friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Anna. Today is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. Everything is $1.25, and it is all locale <laughs> for my locals. Okay, so this is a mix match, miss mosh, can't even talk, of both the stores next to Aldi's and next to Rainbow. So there you go. Now, today, if you missed my last couple of hauls, um, I shared an Ulta haul and today my eye look is with my palette from Maple Syrup Pancakes Too Faced. So that's my eye look for today. So I play with my palette and I really like the colors. I think they're so pretty. And see, I do have like, you know, pinks and purples and, you know, it's like a sherbet. <laughs> Michael. He calls it my Sherbert dress. So I have on my Sherbert dress. So I picked out some really fun colors from here. Go check out that video. I got some beauty steals. You know how they had the beauty steals every day. They had like some deals. I picked up some things from like Juvia's place, some beautiful lippies. Now, if you love this lip color, I know it's gorgeous, right? That's from She Glam from Shein. I just dropped a a video just on these lipsticks. These are high shine lip glosses and I tried on 12 for you so you can see what they look like on. I'll put all those videos up here in the eye in the sky so you go check them out later. So if you're looking to get some new lippies, this one is gorgeous as you can tell. Mm -hmm. So that video will be up there too. And then lastly on my face, besides my Shein cover up and my glow lotion, um, I did use, which I'm very sad. Did you guys hear Beauty Bakery shut down? Yeah, they closed up shop. I don't even know why. If anybody knows the reason why, put it down there below. I would love to know why they, sh they shut down because their cosmetics were beautiful. Okay. Um, so if there's anything that you're hooked on from beauty bait from, um, the bakery, uh, girl, they're gone. They shut down, honey. They shut down beauty bakery. Well, I got this in my allure box. Go check that one out. And I just showed it just a day or two ago. And so I decided to play with that palette, which gave me this really pretty cheek color. I used three different colors in com in combination to get this really cute cheek color now excuse me it is raining out here in the state of maryland it is gray 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 dreary tomorrow we're supposed to get even more rain girl and the wind is supposed to be going crazy i know right and if you like the earrings that was a part of a set that i shared from my timu haul that i just shared again like two or three days ago so go check that out as well okay that was all my shameless plugs. I got to plug myself. I have to. I have to put my information out there. Now, who remembers um, my last my last haul that I shared the jot notebook, the pink jot notebook that was um, had the, the words notes in the front in gold? That's not what she is anymore. <laughs> I changed her up. So I used a lot of these stickers and what have you from... Um, uh, from Dollar Tree, as you can tell, and I painted it gold and added a whole bunch of stuff on there. So this is like totally me and my style. If anything, mixed media looking. This is like totally, totally my jam. Okay, so there you go. Hands up, honey. I made a change. I didn't do a video on it, though. So let's get into this haul. Um, oh, before I forget, because I'm old and I will forget. I will be trying to put on some of those Shein plus size clothes that I've been hauling for you. I'm going to try to get myself together and show them on so you can see what they look like. I am a size 26, 28. So if that helps any of y'all, please subscribe, press all notifications so you don't miss it when I put my little videos together with the outfits. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to do it tomorrow because it might be too dark in the house because of the rain. But be on the lookout. It will come. It will come as soon as the um, weather clears up. So you saw in my picture. Yes, yeah, my picture. That they have these. Okay. They had these. Was it last year? I want to say last year. I think they had these last year. They never, ever, 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 never, ever came to my stores. They didn't, they did not, but they finally made it. Okay. So these are the Progresso 
And these are the Southwest style tortilla soup mix, just add water. Um, I would also say not just add water, but maybe add some meat to it too. Anything that's left over, anything that you, you got, you could just throw it in there all the way from chicken to beef to sausages, you know, bacon, whatever you got, ham, whatever you got, you could throw it in there too. It says it makes eight servings. It's kind of reminiscent to Bear Creek, which we do use Bear Creek. But as a person that's a beginner prepper, I always consider myself a beginner prepper. Um, I'm always looking for ways to get shelf stable food onto my kitchen shelves. And um, this is a great one because it's completely dry. So this is going to last for a very, 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 very long time. Well past its best by date because the, uh, the things in the inside are dehydrated. The veggies are dehydrated. So you have to hydrate them. Okay. And that's what you want. Now the best by date is September, 2024. But again, no, this is going to last you a very, very, very long time. And um, they had this one and this is seven ounces. Okay. Of dried soup. Southwest style tortilla. And that's what it looks like. Okay. Making sure you guys can see it. Do you see all the goodies in the inside of that soup? Now, the next one that I found from them, because they only had two kinds, at least for now. I don't know if they're going to bring it, bring any more or if this is like it. Because I did get like five of that one. I got five. Did I get five or six? I got five. Five of that one. Now, I only got two or three of this one. This is the minestrone. Makes eight servings. And, um... Ready in 20 minutes, I forgot to say. Again, this is a 7.5 ounce. Just add water. But then again, I do recommend to add some, you know, some meat to it. The best by date is the same thing as this one, the same dates. But it is dehydrated, as you can tell. So you have to put the water in there to rehydrate it. So this is going to last you a long time, well past the best by date, okay? But remember, the best by date is just um, guaranteed freshness and optimal taste for your foods. Okay, so just a heads up. Most foods, most, will last well past the best by date if, if it is kept in a cool, dry, dark, you know, area in your home. It will last you for a very long time. You keep control of that moisture. All right. The next thing that I picked up, I was really excited about those. I couldn't believe it. I was like, yes, they actually brought it. Let's stick to the foodie items just because that's where we're at. Um, I did pick up some more of the Hereford Spicy Seasoned Beef Crumbles. Now, I did do a video review on this. I'll put that up here in the eye in the sky. You guys can check it out. Um, I add them onto our eggs in the morning and I made them scrambled and my boys love it. Now, when you first taste this by itself, it is very spicy. It's spicy. Girl, it's spicy. But when you cook it in combination with something else, the spiciness dwindles. So it's not as spicy. But if you eat it on its own with really nothing else, you really have to have, you know, the liking for something spicy. So I will always cook this with something else so it will dwindle down that spiciness. But we like it. And this is beef. This is Hereford. And this is a name brand. No refrigeration required, which is awesome, especially in an emergency style situation. It is shelf stable. You open it when you need it. Um, the best by date for this is 8 of 2024. Again, this will this will be fine well past that date as well and um you can eat it just as so it's already cooked all you have to do is heat it that's all you have to do again it is spicy but in combination when you cook it with other things then you're good to go the spiciness kind of dwindles so i did get like four or five of these okay i did and if i go back again i'm gonna get some more because i'm kind of you know getting my pantry together now, the Pillsbury Cheddar Garlic Biscuit Mix makes 12 to 14 biscuits. This is so good, including the biscuit one. So if you come across these, I highly recommend them. They're very, 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 very good. They're just really yummy. 
And um, all you're going to need is a half a cup of milk. And if you want one third cup of shredded cheddar cheese, but I find that you don't really need the cheddar cheese. You don't, but you could add it in there and it tastes delicious. And you put some butter, <laughs> not butter, but butter. And these are amazing. So these are really good. If you see them, don't sleep on these. And the price is good. Okay. Everything's $1.25 and I'm showing you. And let me see. The last foodie thing is not even food. It's girl sending food. Um, I saw someone share this. They do have these little tiny bunt pans available. I know mine's got a little, I had it in the bag. Um, there you go. It's a two piecer. They do have them there. These aren't terribly big. This will make like two small size, you know, bunt, bunt cakes. Sorry, my ears itchy. Um, so there you go. But it's nice. So I picked it up. Make a bunt, a little bunt thing. Yeah. I'll probably do it um, this week or next week. There you go. So that's it for the foodie kitchen department. That's it for that. Oh, no. I take it back. They have. I know they have the serve. Um, they have some uh, earth friendly items right now by this company, including bowls and plates. And they had this 24 piece, eight forks, eight knives and eight spoons. So this is earth friendly and it is compostable. So there you go. That's available. If you are a earth friendly type of a person that that's very important to you and you look for that, they have those products at Dollar Tree right now. Okay. So heads up. The next thing I'm going to share with you is something from the, let's do, um, what is this called? They're starting to put all the summer stuff. Oh, and if you're looking for all the really nice um, what is it called? Beach theme items, ocean theme items. They have like their whole collection is out over there at the store next to Aldi. So if you're looking for specific pieces, they have those available. Now those really pretty metal pieces that are around like this, they only had one of each left one. And I didn't take them. I looked at them and I wanted the silver ones, but they only had one. So and it, they only had one of each color left. Like somebody scooped them all up. So, um, if you see something that you like, you know, be on the lookout. It is available over there right now. Go check it out. They have the whole collection out. So, and also the summer items. Speaking about summer, they have these really cute hand wash only, um, plate sets. So this one looks like a watermelon. So stinking cute. How to get it. And then they had the little matching bowl. <laughs> I know, right? Look at that. That's so stinking cute. Look. You could put like chips and dip. Yeah, and it's so stinking cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love this. And it's hand wash only though, so heads up. They do also have it in, I want to say lemon, uh, pineapple, and maybe one more thing. But this was a cute one, at least for me. At least for me, so I had to bring that home because I thought that was so cute. Now, towards my preps, I got these. Um, these are candle lighters, butane, and I believe these are refillable. But I am, you know, I just buy these. So if uh, in case we ever need to turn on some of our candles, cook outside, uh, you know, whatever we need, burn some trash, whatever will have an ability to do it. And um, I, I used to pick these up all the time and then my daughter smokes and she uses them up. So it's like, I have to start buying them again because she's done like, she's done like gone through my whole stash, man. Kids, I'm trying to tell you. All right. Only one thing from the, no, two things from the beauty aisle, beauty slash hygiene, teeth hygiene aisle. They came back with the sassy and chic makeup sponges with the case that looks like a coffee mug. So I had to get it. They had the lighter one too. I had to get it because it's so stinking cute. It looks like a coffee mug. Girl. Look, I'm now I'm trying to open it. You gonna give me the loose? Are you gonna give me a hard time? Let me see. 
Oh, I just messed up my nails. Ah, I know I just did my nails and I'm not being careful. And if you guys like my nail color, it is from CVS, Paparazzi CVS, okay? And what color is it so you guys can know? Because I know you guys always ask. This one's called Retro Remix, Paparazzi Retro Remix from CVS. And sometimes they have some really good deals. You buy two, you know, and get some extra, um, extra cashback bucks. Yeah. So this is a really pretty color, as you could tell. Really pretty. All right, back to this. It looks like a little coffee mug. It looks like a little coffee mug. And then, you know, the little spongy. I know. I was crafting. Sorry. I use these for my crafts because I have my regular sponges I might use for my face, but these I craft with. So, yeah. Oh, it's, very, it's very bouncy. But this is so stinking cute. I wonder if I could bling, bling out this little bottom piece. Yeah, I love anything that just looks cute. All right, and then the other thing that I bought was the Firefly Oral-B Electric Toothbrush Dupe. I shared these before. They brought some more back in, so I picked up one more. As you guys know, I got three boys. And to get an electric toothbrush that is a dupe for Oral-B for $1.25, yes, yes, check that, check that, check it, yes. So I got another one. There you go. I only picked up one though. Then in the craft area and book section, I did get the one book that's called A Year in the Country. And it is a hardback book. And it looks beautiful, right? So pretty. Look at that. So pretty. And uh, here we go. So... There you go. A quick look-see. I did buy myself another paper pack. I shared this paper pack. I actually went through it with you. And this one was my favorite. And I said, if I go back, girl, I'm going to get me another one of my favorites. And this was it. Now, just a heads up. Some of you are seeing the old paper packs from Christmas time. And those paper packs are all mixed up. What's inside is not like the picture and the outside. It's the Christmas time ones. And they're, they brought them back out and people are buying them and they're getting upset because what's inside is not what matches up. Yeah, no. Um, those were the older ones. These are the new ones. And these are made out of cardstock. So if you're looking for cardstock, like a good heavy duty cardstock, Open this up and you're going to be pleasantly surprised. These are cardstock, not paper. I mean, they're paper, but paper cardstock. Boom. They have two different designs. Check out my other haul. I go through the whole pack and each one by one so you can see what they look like. And then lastly, let me get my scissors. In the beach department, um, they have the new fabrics out. They do. And this is the only one I wanted. Uh, somebody else showed it in their in their haul, and I always have to take this this stuff off because you don't want the uh, you don't want this glue getting stuck on that fabric. Oh, my nose is itchy. Ah, I know. It's like I didn't take my allergy pills today. Oh, my nose is giving me the blues, honey. All right, so this is this. You can find this along with some other really pretty designs in the beach theme department. And this is what it looks like. Okay. And I think it's so pretty. And you can use this to make bags. You can use it to cover up a photo album. Me, I'm going to use this to make some sheets for a bed that I will make. I will make another bed. But this is a nice big piece, as you can tell. And the design is beautiful. I hope you guys... There we go. The design is really pretty. So I got two of these. That's it. And the last thing, actually. Yeah, these are those things that you stick your finger in and then the kids freak out. And then it, it's like really jiggly and wiggly. But you can stick your finger in there. Yeah, so I got two of these. I got two of them. And they do have some things that are like floating in there. So there you go. Those are in a checkout. And the, you know, you're getting rung up and then they get you. They put the little cool stuff there and they get you. They get me every time. 
So that is everything for this haul. Check out the Foodie Finds. This is a great time to start, you know, um, getting your preps back up, getting your kitchen back in order. Things are just going to continue to get tighter and tighter and tighter. Um, try to get the deals right now while we can. As we all know, Dollar Tree is going to be going up in prices just along with everybody else in the world. Um, and we're just going to have to use our discernment to make sure that whatever we buy, wherever we go, including Dollar Tree makes sense. And it's going to be our best deal for, you know, for what we need it for. So we're always going to be able to find things everywhere we go and that will include Dollar Tree. Even when the prices do go up, you're still going to be able to find some really good deals. Okay. So I will talk to you guys later. Check out my other videos. I really appreciate it and see ya.